The Hartford Yard Goats is the double-A affiliate team for MLB's The Colorado Rockies. The team was founded in 2016 when the new put in Wildcats relocated to Hartford. With that said, a name change was in order. With a public contest that held over 6,000 entries, the name Yard Goats was chosen. Yard Goats gives homage to a slang name used for switch engines or terminal tractors that move train cars between locomotives. As Dunkin' Donuts Park, the stadium that the Hartford Yard Goats call home, is located adjacent to the famous Hartford Rail Yards in Connecticut. But that's not all though, as the blue and green colors of the home uniforms are also a nod to the former NHL team, the Hartford Whalers. After coming up in 2016, the Yard Goats were not able to play any home games in their inaugural season due to construction on Dunkin' Donuts Park being elongated. So that whole 2016 inaugural season, home games were played at an alternate site as the first home game was played in the 2017 season. 2016 was the best year in the franchise record books for the Yard Goats. Despite not playing a true home game, the Yard Goats went 74-67 and in the win-loss column to place third in their division, respectfully. Overall, at the start of the 2022 season, the Yard Goats have a 313 and 360 win-loss record, which gives them a 465 winning percentage. Despite the Yard Goats being a new name coming up in 2016, formerly being the New Britain Rock Hats, the franchise itself has been there for multiple decades plus in the minor league system. Overall, the Wildcats was the double-A team for the Boston Red Sox for 12 years, the Twins for 20 years, and the Colorado Rockies for one year. Wildcats playing at the famous New Britain Stadium, but overall you had the Bristol Red Sox, the New Britain Red Sox, the Hardware City Rock, and then your eventual New Britain Rockcats, who then changed the name to the Hartford Yard Goats with the relocation. When you think of sports in Connecticut, whether it's baseball, football, hockey, even auto racing, no matter what level it's on, Connecticut in a way has been a quote-unquote small mecca in the sports world. Everyone knows about Yale, everyone knows about the legendary Spring Sizzler at the Stafford Motor Speedway for Northeast Auto Racing. Everyone knows about the legendary West Haven Hill House football rivalry that used to draw in well over 40 plus thousand people on multiple occasions. Connecticut is known for many things, many sport teams. Of course, the Yard Goats, one of the newer teams in Connecticut Spotlight, and then you also have for soccer, the Hartford Athletics. When you look at it, the way sports is going, Hartford is kind of being, in a way, a mini New York when it comes to sports and athletes' names getting out there with the team names, athletes' names, and just more sports coming into the city of Connecticut. The Hartford Yard Goats name, it's definitely a very interesting name being Yard Goats. Who would have thought it would have any kind of association with railroading? But that's what Hartford does. That's what Connecticut does. It brings out its history in a sporty kind of way. The Hartford Yard Goats, no matter how long they stay in Connecticut or stay in Hartford, the impact they're having on the city and on its people, it's legendary and it's never going to be forgotten. And when you look at it, minor league baseball has never really been unfamiliar in Connecticut. Go all the way past the Bristol Red Sox, you had the West Haven Yankees, affiliate of the New York Yankees, West Haven A's of the Oakland Athletics. And then go, you had the Red Sox, New Britain Red Sox, then the City Rock. Then the Wildcats, and now you have a whole new era that is still just forming with the Hartford Yard Goats. Swung on the high drive, blasted deep towards center. Young back to the track. He's at the wall. 